he went 100 mile an hour one direction and he went 100 mile an hour right at the boat this is a serious one. Oh, we got two serious ones okay we're doubled up on goliaths river rats the river is dropping like a lead balloon and usually that's not a good thing for the catfish but we have the negating factor some primo fresh hog legs sitting on ice in the cooler and with any luck that'll draw them out so let's go i came up here because it's uh water's a little poopier which makes it a little bit warmer and even though the water's dropping the my hope is that there's just a few more fish up here because if they ain't biting as good you might as well be in a target rich environment and that's what i'm hoping this is i also haven't explored that much up here and i'd like to find something sneaky good like i'm going to poke around and prod around and uh, maybe even find something that nobody knows about we don't catch them ain't because we don't have good bait that was freshly caught two hours ago which i like that we're gonna dice it up in some chunks some big chunks some little chunks some medium chunks and i even have some live baits which well, it's not that live baits are necessarily better Sometimes they are. I always find it more exciting when they get bit, especially big live bait, and we have some of that. Okay, buddy. About 100 feet from the target. So I'm gonna throw them a little less than 100 feet. Put it in front of them and let that scent wash down to them. Oh, I might be in some junk. I like that. I mean, the water, the, the weather is beautiful. Even with the drop in water, hopefully there's still a few fish biting. You'd think with this pretty weather. In fact, it's spring. You know, some of them would like it. I don't know. The only one way to figure it out is to fish around and find out. And you'll know for sure. And they ain't always biting good, but there's always fish to be caught. There's not a ton of current, but there is a little flow. A little flow to wash some scent down to them, hopefully. Oh, we got a nibble already. It's a pretty good nibble, actually. Pull it down there, bud. Not that great of a nibble. Not the worst sign I've ever seen. Not the best sign. I think they're actually supposed to shut the gates off here in a little bit too, so we're anchored now. Might end up dragging here in a minute. Anyway, wait till the drag's ripping before I get too concerned. Put one of these little live shatters out there, don't. I think I'm gonna throw them more into the flathead zone though. That is one perk of the giant live well. Like, it's nice to have a shad tank when using, trying to keep shad alive. But if you're not gonna be keeping any fish, you have a giant live well, like what's on this sea arc, it kind of doubles as a shad tank. Because the biggest thing with shad, their, their self defense. Uh, strategy, if you will, is to, when they get scared, they vomit, they poop, which imagine if people's, I mean, I guess if you get scared enough, people do the same thing. So I can't be too hard on the shad. And then they shed scales. So filtration's big because they'll poop and vomit, ammonia levels will spike and that'll kill them. And then they're, when they shed their scales, yeah, that's that's uh, distracting when they shed their scales they'll actually clog their gills too so you got to filter all that out to keep them alive or you can just put a handful of shad in 50 gallons of water and uh, dilution is the solution and for a lot of things involving water 
yeah, that's one way to keep them alive as well. I'm gonna send that one a little further. Just like that, we are fishing. Mm, pretty bouncy. It's a big bait. You got the mustard or what? Oh, he's swimming to the side. Maybe a big flathead? You gotta be a flathead. That bounciness has gotta be the sinker bouncing. Can't really do much until, oh, he's tangled in the other line. He's swimming at me? Okay, we're just gonna reel down on him and see what happens. He's not a small fish. I'm not sure. I mean, you always wonder, at least I always wonder how good they're hooked when you gotta hook them like this. Eh? Not gonna horse him. He's definitely in my other line. He's trying to get in the drift sock. Okay, I can kind of steer him away. I was on that big head piece. Oh yeah, he's an impressively tangled flathead. Oh, come here, buddy. He ain't even bad. Yep, got him. It's what flatheads do. It's one reason I don't love circle hooks, but Worked pretty good this time. I would have reeled down on him a long time ago. But uh, that's all right, you got him. Wow, I really wanted to catch flathead. <laughs> Did not take long at all. I like that a lot. I'd say that's a good starter fish, but that's a good fish for any time. Man, I like that a lot. Favorite fish in the world. I don't know what's leaking out of us. He might have just threw up. Okay. <laughs> wow, big old gut on him. Oh! I don't know if I've ever been so quite that bad. Wow. I went up my nose. All right. Great start to the day. <laughs> oh, wow. He throttled it. Well, I don't think he's, I don't know. He hammered it, pulled drag in the holder. Now he's sprinting at the boat like a blue. Things, am I getting another bite? Or is he tangled in it from clear back there? I have no idea. I don't know, that went from nothingness to chaos in a moment it's one cool thing about catfishing you know on the outside it seems kind of boring but uh then you have moments of craziness or rod just folds oh yeah nice fish he is tangled in it it's all right real nice fish Come here, buddy. There we go. 
Remember how I said I casted that over that one and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but it shouldn't matter. Well, fish is in the moat, but we definitely have a tangle. Either way, he trucked it. That was cool. Okay. I haven't had to drive very far, which I like. Yeah, another nice fish. Nice angry fish. Yeah. Two spots, two dandies. Cool. I like flatheads. They're my favorite. The takedown of a blue cat is, uh, I don't know. There ain't too many other fish that hit like that, especially in freshwater. Maybe a striper. All right, easy. Lots of getting splashed today. That one was my own fault. Well, two for two. Small victories, right? And we'll go uh, try to find a, a real complex piece of structure and try to uh, catch another flathead. Did a whole bunch of looking. Found me a brush pile. Also got me a live bait I'm gonna throw down at it. That's pretty close. See if I can coax somebody out of there. It's probably not a super high percentage tactic right now, but I caught them and I want to use them. If you've uh, been noticing that I pretty much have a new set of fishing rods every other week. Um, been trying a bunch out, trying to figure out what the best bang for your buck is. Because uh, with catfishing, usually you use more than one fishing rod. I mean, there's always exceptions, but if you're going to use one, more than one, that means you got to purchase more than one. If you're going to purchase a bunch of them, you're spending a lot of money on fishing rods. You know, adds up in a hurry. Like, I got six of them right here. $150 a piece, if they were... These aren't, but if they were, I mean, that's what, 900 bucks? You like said adds up in a hurry. So it's like playing around, figuring out what the best, the highest quality rod for the least amount of money and finding that happy medium. Something I've been working on. I think I've landed on a pretty good one. I don't know if it's the absolute best because I haven't tried every fishing rod out there, but they're treating me pretty good. I like them quite a bit. These are Rippin' Lips Super Cat Legacies. And these are the mediums. And I like the mediums because I use braid. And they're softer. Braid doesn't stretch, so you got to have forgiveness somewhere. And for me, it's in the fishing rod. If you're using mono then yeah go with the medium heavies or heavies and I know there's a lot of guys who use braid and medium heavies and heavies and if it works for you stick with it man but uh, the combo of a softer fishing rod with no stretch fishing line led to a pretty good hookup percentage for me overall <laughs> there's a few been a few exceptions but overall pretty darn good at least on anchor or dragon and all that stuff. But yeah, they're they're sixty dollars. You know, they're an ugly stick, which I once once upon a time said was the best bang for your buck catfishing rod. Uh, they're they're sixty dollars now, and I I like these better than an ugly stick personally. Ugly sticks they're starting to make more carbon in them, faster action, not as nice of a bend. He's got a real nice bend and a real nice price point, so. I don't get a nickel for saying any of that. It'd be a lot cooler if I did. But it's just something that I figured it'd be cool to pass on to you guys. Love these combos. Rods are, or reels are PC Fun Alios 400s, which 
They're like 100 to 130 dollars. They're on sale all the time. I got a promo code. Uh, I do get money back on that one. So if you buy them, use the promo code. You save 15 percent, and then I get a little kickback that helps me out. Helps pay for boat gas, which I appreciate immensely. Yeah, and then I use 80 pound braid and 80 pound mono leader when I'm blue catting. But yeah, if, if you're curious about that, there you go. Cue the 80 pound flathead. You actually gonna do it? Pretty flatheady kind of bite. Yep, that's a good one too. Stay on there, buddy. No, don't tell me he came off. Because he's sprinting at me. Wow, he just ran. What are you doing? Under the drift sock? Oh no. This is about to be a mess. I'm gonna have to fight him back under the boat. Okay. He went 100 mile an hour one direction. And he went 100 mile an hour right at the boat. This is a serious one. Oh, we got two serious ones. Okay, we're doubled up on Goliaths. Oh, that's on the live one. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Wow. I don't have a net ready. They got two Mondos. Wow. Oh, nice blue. Was not expecting you up this shallow. Okay. I gotta know what's on the live one. Wow. A huge fish. Two huge fish. Is he sprinting at me too? Wow, two leviathans. Okay. I'm gonna try to get greedy, hopefully. It don't cost me, but yeah. it's the way it works. It'll be what it is. Okay. Sweet. Wow. What are you, big flathead? Not a giant giant. But that's the double I'm talking about. <laughs> cool. That was on the live bait, even. Um, I should probably get the net ready, that's what I should do. Get them in here one at a time. I figured they'd both be flatheads where we're fishing. I ain't complaining, not even one little bit. Um, net, untangle, please. Come on, net. There we go. That got me all shaky. <laughs> Hopefully you guys understand. A couple dandy fish. Put you in the holder. Try to put you in the net. <clears throat> okay, we got one. Bad so far. Yep, get in here. Wow, he's really nice. <laughs> okay, hook is out. Small bait. All right. Wow, you hit it hard. Night and day compared to the other one I, I caught. Too. I mean, if for no other reason, then it's available. God dang it. I gotta screw that screw in there a little better. Okay. Yep, you're pretty nice, too. Wow. <laughs> yep.
right, let's see if I have the, that flathead grew a lot. Oh, stop, stop. Let's see if I got the uh, juice to hold them both up for the picture. Okay, there's one. That might be all I got. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's like 90 to 100 pounds in a double, probably. Yeah. Pretty good <laughs> spot, I guess. <sighs> That's all the dumb things I can think to say. So, <clears throat> yeah, one more look at this guy. Back in the water he goes. Swims off strong. And then one more look at this guy. Then we'll let him back. Swims off strong. That was cool. I liked it. No. All slimy, which is what I signed up for. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, all that chaos kind of displayed what I was talking about with the rod being the point of forgiveness because the line doesn't stretch. Uh, you hook a big fish, it tends to hook them pretty good, and then while you're fighting them, it does a good job of keeping them hooked. And they're both right in the corner, just like you're supposed to be. But if you went with mono, I would say use the stouter medium heavies or heavies for blues and stuff. Had a nibble on that one. All right, I'm gonna regain my composure and probably move. Give her a few minutes, but not much. Thinking this is going to be our last spot. About out of bait, about out of time. Definitely out of water. Definitely out of. Uh... Come here, little shad bud. Definitely out of food. <coughs> Saw some fish. Fish that looked like they were worth throwing at. I'm going to throw at them. Should be about right on his nose. Give him a live one to look at. Give him a chunk of one to look at too. I'm gonna bet that one's a flathead. But I'd love to meet him in person. This dude was like, he pulled it down good, but he's freaking out like a little dude. But then he's heavy. I wonder if he's just wrapped up in it or... I don't know. We'll just wait and see how this plays out. Either way, it's a fish. And I like catching them. I mean, I'd say it's what I expected, but I guess I, I didn't know what to expect. He's a nice one. I just don't understand why he hit it so wonky. I'm not mad about it. Lots of bass boats zipping around today. That's why we're bobbing. Uh, I think I'll just grippy him. Yeah. Oh, easy, buddy. He's gonna freak out. Just thinking about it anyway. He's got little thin bird lips. It's kind of weird. Uh, probably can't see it very well on the camera, but. They're not plump and blubbery like most of them. 
I won't hold it against him. Hopefully he's not self-conscious and gonna go get Botox now or whatever. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, it's probably gonna do it for me for today. Fun little, just single, few hour day trip caught some fish and caught some nice fish and had some crazy action and chalk that up as a win i'm gonna go home and get something to eat hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button my hands are really slimy hold on if you want to support me you can check out waterland sunglasses promo code rc15 same goes for the pc fun reels um, or anything PC fun use RC15 you save you 15% and uh, striker apparel I mean they keep you comfy I'm not wearing any today um, I was earlier my jacket but yeah they I don't know it's a lot more enjoyable to go fishing when you're comfortable they do a good job of that so not a ton of sponsors but the ones I have are you know stuff that I think is legit and I like or if you don't do anything like that, that's cool. Hope you catch a giant.